Stokes. I'm backstage here at the Enemy Awards. I've just been joined by the gentleman from Biffy Corro who have been named Best Live Band. How are you feeling, James? Lovely. Like, like gentlemen, I guess. X-rated, triple X-rated. <laughs> triple X-rated. You put a lot into your live shows. Is this a, it's a good reward for you guys? Yeah, I think right from day one, which is probably about 100 years ago, we've really prided ourselves on giving everything at the live shows. And so, you know, it's what we do best, really, and so to bring this home and get a wee bit of recognition for it, it's amazing. You know, we love the shows anyway, but this will... Uh, gives us an ego boost. <laughs> it's a reason to do it for the next 10 years, isn't it? <laughs> and, and obviously you suffered a little bit for your art this year, your live art at any rate, Glastonbury, a bit of an injury, so is it nice to be rewarded at the end of it all? It's so, although my knees are never going to be the same again. I feel like an old man, they're still totally jiggered and fucked, but uh, it is worth the pain every night. You know, it's, uh, it's a gift to live music, it's a gift we receive and we also give. Oh. Having seen you at festivals, you guys do tend to stand out from uh, the other bands you play, not only for the music, uh, dress code, hair colour. I mean, what what is what is it you put into it when you, before you go on stage? I think we just don't worry about trying to adhere to kind of like the rules of a festival or something. Some bands, if they're on at midday, will maybe like play a more chilled out slot or something, mm. or if it's pissing it down, they'll wear their jackets. We don't. We would just go topless all the time. Now, I've, I've got to ask as well, you had one, one of the biggest singles of 2011 without even recording a note last year. How was that? 2010, I should say. How was that? Pretty funny. I think we, we were in Australia when it all kind of went down and it just seemed, it didn't seem real. And then when we got home, it was very real. So, uh, yeah, it's a strange one. It's, it's hard to even comment. It just seems a bit unnatural and a bit unreal, but uh, but uh, we huge, still love ourselves. It's a huge compliment. You know, it's, it's nice. It's exciting. We're, of course, talking about the X Factor. Did Simon Cow ring you up personally and say, can I have the tune, boys? He gave it a wee reach around. <laughs> yeah. He flew over to Australia and asked us personally. Yeah. I see, asked us personally. And we said, well, you know, you've got two hands here, you're not doing anything. How do you fancy it? So I imagine the upshot is better holidays this year, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully.